Hey everybody, it's Bandor Terrell here again with another PBR experimental video. So I'm playing around with PBR and I, and I got this idea that I think it could be very easy for us to do some uh, creating of materials just using simple uh, 2D seamless textures without having to do any using creating PBR without having to do uh, using the AOs to get the AOs to actually work. So if you'll look, what, let me explain what I mean. AO is ambient occlusion, and it's the shading and the the uh, where two surfaces meet. So you'll see right here on this massage table, there's a pillow and there's a sheet. On the pillow, under the pillow, there's some shading here where the pillow meets the, uh, the sheet. That's the ambient occlusion, and it starts out dark, and it gets lighter as it moves away. And you'll also notice that there's some on the sides of this, and it gives you shading, and it really creates that 3D depth. Otherwise, it would look really flat, right? So in the traditional way of doing texturing, what we would do is we would, we would get an AO, or the ambient occlusion file, which is a grayscale image of this, and we would combine that with the 2D texture in Photoshop using layer masking so that you would get the 2D texture with the shading applied so uh, and then we would bake that in and we would upload that into second life and you would apply that texture and you would get the cloth texture with the the, the dark shading built in but you couldn't just take a, a 2d texture of cloth drop it on your object and have the 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 uh, the shading the aob there and it would look really really flat so with PBR, what I found is that if you if you actually edit this and we'll look at the sheet and we'll look at our PBR materials, click edit. This is the this is the white texture that you see here. Um, notice there's no shadows. That means the shading does not get baked into the base color. The base color is literally just the white cloth with the material for that that you see. This shading is coming in through the metallic roughness um, texture here. My understanding is that this is a uh, this image has three color channels, red, green, and blue. And each one of those contains a grayscale image. One is uh, the red is the AO, the green is the roughness, I believe, and the blue channel is the metallic. When you look at this, you, you see yellow and greens, which implies to me that there's no red channel. But um, the AO is coming from somewhere. It's definitely not coming in here. The way to test this would be take a 2D texture like this, Chanel Solid Pastels. There's no shading on this. It's just a, it's just a cloth pattern, right? And drop it on here and see what happens to this. Now, if I drop it directly in the model, uh, one, we're not going to see it because this is a blend fong texture being applied and PBR is on there, so you're not going to see it. That's not what I mean. What I mean is drop it in here into this editor for the base color and see what happens. If this becomes just pink with no shading, then the AO was in here and I've, I've overwritten it. If it comes in here and there's pink with the shadows, that means the shadows are coming from down here, and then I can just drop an image in here and get the image and the, the AO to blend perfectly. So let's try it and see. I'm going to take this, I think I can do it from here, and drop it in here. Yes, I can. And boom. There it goes. Okay. It worked. It worked exactly like I was hoping it would, except for one thing. So this is that pink texture, and you have the shadow here. The problem is that pink texture is being stretched to fit the, uh, the size of this model, and so the granularity is way off. And so you're seeing the threads, you know, gigantic size. Well... Uh, we can try and fix that by going here into the model and changing the scaling, but watch what happens when we do that. Change the scaling to 2, it doubled the AO as well. So the AO became smaller and it's off and it, and it doesn't match the model anymore. So it, it's all screwed up. So you cannot just do that. I was hoping you could, but you can't. Um, I wish Second Life would change that and let us do this more creatively. Uh, I'm going to write this up in a, in a detail to them and, and we'll do it as a feature request. Okay, so you can't do that. But that means i got to take this this thing and i got to go to Photoshop and I've got, or, or GIMP and I've got to scale it down. So I actually, I actually did that and 
I did one time, and it's right here called Chanel Solids Pastel 3 1X. That means I scaled it one time, and I, I'm if it doesn't, it still doesn't look right. So I'm gonna scale it again, and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so uh, let's just apply that. So we'll put that in here. So now you can see the the threads became smaller, but they're still too big for for this model. So we got to go back to Photoshop. So let me bring up Photoshop. Here it is. This is after I actually scaled it one time. So we're gonna do Control T. Oops, I hit Control R by mistake. Control T. Okay. Come on. There we go. You have to have the layer selected. There it is. And I'm just gonna scale this down halfway. It it pops when it gets to halfway. So then drag that over to the side. And now we're going to duplicate that with Alt and then drag and you just duplicate it. Select both of them, Alt and drag and duplicate it up. And now it's here and I'm going to merge the layer. And now I'm going to export that and I'm going to call it 2x because I've done it twice. Now let's go back here and I'm going to upload that build, upload image. And there it is, 2x. There it is. And let's drop that in here. And there you go. So now we have the cloth material with the AO. So all I need is a PBR material for this that just has the, just has the AO in it. And so builders, builders can do this now. Builders can, instead of providing an AO, we can provide a PBR material that is the AO. It's just the AO. And then they can put that in, into their prefab models. And then what other builders can then do is take that model, take that PBR material, and just drop in any texture that you want here. And so you can do any. So let's do like, um, let me find the Southwest. Again, you have, but you're going to have to scale these. So that's the that's the only shortcoming is you're gonna have to make these. Uh, do I have one? You're gonna have to make these images way tighter. I gotta find where one is. Uh, probably way down in here. There we go. So that's the image. Again, it's gonna get blown up, right? So when I drop it in here, so I have I would have to take these images, which it's not hard to do, right? Don't put it there. Put it here. So there it is. That Im that texture is now applied and it preserved the the AOs. If I want to do this and, and scale this down, I just got to take this image into Photoshop and do like I just did, shrink it down, export it, bring it back in, and then you have this scale. This uh, texture would look right, but it's still going to get the AOs. So anyway, this is really fast. I know it, it may be over your head. It may not be over your head. You may not care, <laughs> but I thought it was kind of cool. So um, I'm going to post this video and uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Um, you can reach out to me in Second Life if you want to talk about it.